Hey guys, so I'm about to go pick up my hamster finally. And this is the little cage that I'm going to pick him up in. I just put like some bedding in there and that is a millet spray, I think. And like some treats of dried fruit and his food mates. And I put this little um, hideout thing in there. They said not to put any ceramic or anything cause like in the car it could like bump her or something. So I just put that little light on there. I'm so excited. I have all this stuff for him and I'll show you the cage once it's done. I'm making a bin cage. Okay, I'll be back. So I'm back and I have my hamster. She's a girl called Nutmeg. She's so cute. You can't really see her right now because she's hiding in the corner eating nuts and I don't want to disturb her because you're supposed to just leave them alone for a few days when they come to a new house. So yeah, but I just wanted to show you the enclosure. So I have a bin cage. It's really big. I read that this is the best for them because then you can have like burrowing material here. Like I have aspen wood shavings and paper bedding. And I'm gonna fill it up all the way as well. So she has heaps of room to burrow. And then I just separated it with this cardboard box, which I also filled with bed shavings, with shavings and bedding. And then I put some holes, like there's a hole there. And there's also, oh look, she came out, hi. Oh. I put, um, there's another hole like where that tunnel goes through. So she hasn't worked out how to get through there yet, but I'm sure she will. For now, she's just exploring. Oh, she's eating a little stick. So she has a sand bath, water, um, a little house, a little cardboard enclosure. But I mainly just put that there because I was scared that she would like, I don't know, I somehow thought that this was really high and she was going to jump and get, and get hurt, but it's actually not that high. But I think I'll leave it there anyway because they like having stuff to hide in. And then she's got a wheel, obviously. It's like an 11.4 inch wheel because they said they not like a big wheel. Oh, she's taking that stick into her corner. <laughs> she's so, so cute. I love her. Nutmeg. She seems happy anyway, like she's not pacing around trying to get out or anything, so that's good. Um, I'm just going to show you the top of the cage because we had to put like this wire on it. And then um, I'm going to leave her alone to settle in. I love her so much though, she's literally adorable. And let me know what you think of her name. I was trying to decide between maple or nutmeg, but I decided on nutmeg. She looks like a nutmeg, doesn't she? Little cutie. So this is the outside of the bin cage. So I just got the bin from Walmart. It was a 189 litre, just like storage bin. Um, and then I got this plastic like mesh stuff. It's like, a fencing wire or something. I think it's called a fencing wire. And then we just drilled holes and put the zip ties on. And I kept that middle one for support. And yeah, it should be good. Hopefully she doesn't chew out of it because this is actually plastic and not wire. But if I if I notice her starting to chew it, I'm just gonna change it for wire. But um, the wire that they had at Canadian Tire was like the holes were too big. So, yeah, we just got this. I think it'll be fine though. If I see her chewing, I will definitely change it for wire immediately. <laughs> Cause I don't want her escaping. So yeah. So this is little nutmeg. She's all settled in. She loves her sand bath. <laughs> hey little one. The taming process is going well. She's not tame yet, but like, I'm getting there. She really loves the sand. <laughs> She's so funny. Like I can pat her and I can almost hold her. But um, she's still kind of shy. Aren't you little one? She's so cute though. Hi. She's so funny.
don't know what she's trying to do. <laughs> Cutie, little Cindy. So yeah, and so I did have to change her cage. Um, she was trying to escape, so I had to take out some of the bedding, sadly, because yeah, she was getting to the top and like hanging off the bars with her teeth, and like she would easily chew through those. So yeah, had to take that off. Um. Everything else is pretty much the same. She loves being in that tunnel. That's her favorite spot. And she also burrows a lot. Oh, yeah, she burrows a lot. I got her these toys. She hasn't really worked out them out yet. See, like put treats and, treats and food in there. But it's been in there for a few days and she hasn't worked it out yet, so. Hey. Um, She likes the little barbell though. Where is that? This. She likes this little toy. Don't you? <laughs> but yeah, she's very sweet. Don't she? Hi, little one. Hi. And her favorite is sunflower seeds. I'll try to get this open and see if I can give her one. Oops. Hi, Meg. Here you go. Oh, yummy. I know it's not really in focus, but I think you get the picture. She's very cute. And she's very sweet and soft. Aren't oh, she, sweetie? Hmm. I'll give you a little nap. She's so little. Oh no, she always tries to go in my hair. No, no. Come here. Oh, look. Can I cut you? Look, I don't know. You just gonna go in my hair? <laughs> Isn't she the sweetest little thing? She's so gentle and like sweet. I love her. Oh, it's okay. I only just kind of got her used to being handled like this. Say hi now, Meg. You're so sweet, aren't you? Me hair. 
Wow, she normally never ever turns down a song for seed. They are usually her kryptonite, aren't they? I'll put you back in now, I think. <laughs> and they want the nut. The seed. You want it? No? Hmm. It's like the first time she's ever rejected one. I think she was having too much fun climbing all over me. Actually, do you know what? Maybe it's empty. She knows when they're empty. Is that one empty? Let's say hello to her one more time before I put her away. Come here, little one. Come on. Oh. Maybe she doesn't want to get up. Be picked up again. There's a thing, she's not fully tame yet, she's just getting there. Okay, she's okay, it's okay. It's okay, little one. She's biting my shirt. <laughs> She's so pretty and little. I don't think she's an adult yet. She's very small. Like for a serene hamster. Come on, I get nervous when you start to try to get off. So yeah, that's nutmeg. Um that's nutmeg three weeks after I got her. Um she's getting used to being handled. She's still a little shy though, but you know when I first got her, like I couldn't even touch her back without her like running into her tunnel. Like, let's put this back on. Like I would um, feed her a sunflower seed and she wouldn't even eat it in front of me. She would take it and then run back into her tunnel to eat it. So she's come a long way and I hope she will keep getting more used to me. She's such a little dear. I'm obsessed with her. So yeah, bye.